Two mass shootings, 13 hours apart. The first in El Paso, Texas, then in Dayton, Ohio. This has shocked the nation, and by the way, the death toll is nearly 30. Hillary Lane has more. This is a heartbreaking tragedy. Officials in Dayton, Ohio, say at least nine people were killed in the second U.S. mass shooting of the weekend. The violence erupted at a popular downtown nightlife area less than 24 hours after 20 were gunned down at a shopping center in El Paso, Texas. Authorities in Dayton say 24 year old Connor Betts killed five men and four women, ranging in age from 25 to 57, and injured dozens. It was complete chaos. Gunshots, and then the people screaming and, and the trampling. Police killed the shooter, who is said to be in body armor. During the attack, likely saving more lives. Authorities say the gunman's sister was the youngest fatality. In El Paso, bodies were being removed from the scene Sunday. A gunman identified as 21 year old Patrick Crucius allegedly opened fire yesterday morning with a rifle, killing 20. When he saw the officers approaching the scene where he was at, he basically surrendered. Authorities say the case will be handled as domestic terrorism. The state charge is capital murder. We will seek the death penalty. Prosecutors are weighing hate crime charges against the gunman. Shortly before the shooting, they say he posted a racist anti immigrant manifesto online. El Paso is a resilient city. This will not define us, and we will move ahead. As two more cities grieve, the American flag was lowered to half staff at the White House and other government buildings in honor of the victims. Hillary Lane, CBS News, El Paso, Texas. In a statement on Twitter, Governor Roy Cooper said, and now, 13 hours later, more deadly gun violence in Dayton, Ohio. We are shocked and heartbroken all over again. This time has the time has long passed for condolences alone. Common sense changes are needed. Cooper also responded yesterday to the shooting in El Paso. Greenville Mayor PJ Conley released a statement on his Facebook page. He says in part, this weekend has been frightening and life changing for El Paso, Texas and Dayton, Ohio. And I believe every single one of us will at least spare a few moments to think and pray for those experiencing loss and fear in those communities today and in the weeks to come. We do have Mayor Conley's full statement posted on our website over at WNCT.com. President Trump also tweeting, saying simply, God bless the people of El Paso, Texas. God bless the people of Dayton, Ohio. Presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke, who is from El Paso, was asked if President Trump's previous statements has ties to the El Paso shooting. Here's what he had to say. We've had a rise in hate crimes every single one of the last three years. Those chants that we heard in Greenville, North Carolina, send her back talking about our fellow American citizens duly elected to represent their constituents in the Congress who happen to be women of color. He is a racist and he stokes racism in this country and it does not just offend our sensibilities. It, it fundamentally changes the character of this country and it leads to violence. 